to have a Jewish education is a gift. And I think it's something that will last a lifetime for these children. The pilot program began in 1995 with a survey from the Jewish Federation and AJE Task Force. They recognized there was a void in the Jewish community. Without this program, children's special needs would not be able to attend Jewish education. When we started talking to the school directors about including students that have various learning, social or emotional differences, and sometimes even mental health and anxiety issues, it was hard for the school directors to imagine how they would be able to fit in to the existing program and how they would have the support to be able to help them to succeed and thrive. And what we tried to teach them is inclusion means everybody's in, which means everybody would have the capacity to be part of the classroom. The children would be treated like everyone else. They would have an opportunity to reach their potential. So at the time we didn't know it, but my son who's now 20 um, has autism. In the early days, they provided a lot of support to me and education to me and they provided support to his teachers, how best to accommodate him and mainstream and keep him included. I, th I think I was nine years old when I uh, learned that I had autism. It was subtle enough that I didn't feel different from the other kids. I don't think Rafi could have been in the day school setting without opening the doors. I wouldn't have been comfortable taking so much of the time away from the other students with the teachers and the school wouldn't have been comfortable with it. So without opening the doors, I feel Rafi would have been in a special needs classroom at a public school. And I just don't think he would be where he is today. I think everything in my life is from the lens of Judaism. And so uh, everything about my life would be different. He did very well in high school. He did very well on standardized exams. He drives a car and he has been attending the University of Michigan in the honors program. We opened the doors of opportunity for children to attend these schools with their peers so they could get a quality and an appropriate education for them. As a teen, um, I participated in their Opening the Doors Madrahim leadership training. Being a part of that program helped me realize that I wanted to be a special educator and help others in my community and teach them the skills to be able to interact uh, and work with students with special needs. So I get to give back and continue that growth and it's something that's really been joyful over the years. They had a seminar every year for all the teachers, be they full-time or part-time teachers. We're having an expert come in and talk about things that they've discovered recently about helping kids. When we first began, we really were an anomaly. I mean, we were local as, and we were the only community that had this amazing program. Over the years, we've become a role model for others. I would hope that we could continue to be role models for all communities, to be inclusive, to see how important it is to have programming that all of us can share together. It's very important for us to help families fulfill their dreams of a Jewish education for their child. It's very important for our children to be seen and accepted, whatever the disability they have. And it's very important for them to be treated like everyone else. Our motto is really to educate, include, and empower. And we're hoping to be able to do that for a long, long time.